Hello everyone, it's Polar Lights and Signals here today to uh, share with you this little uh, generic uh, bucket light that you can buy from uh, Menards. Um, now the reason why I bought this uh, fixture is because it's a little unique um, in a sense to the uh, refractor. Um, it has this cover on the bottom and I'll explain it, uh, why it has that in just a moment. But um, yeah, usually I don't get things like this. This video will be uh, pretty short, but I am gonna say um, this isn't really the highest quality uh, streetlight in my collection. Um, I just bought it because I think it's a little bit uh, cool, but it's a little bit gimmicky and it's really just for uh, residential use. It's not um, really uh, a real streetlight, you know, made for utilities or parking lots. It's a very basic at-home bucket light that pretty much looks like what you'd find out there in the field, but for at home. So it's not the highest quality fixture in the world. Um, it's uh, pretty basic and such, but I do want to show it to you guys. Um, just because this uh, bucket light is, I guess, a little bit cool. So this is a uh, 100 watt Pulse Start metal halide bucket. Um, and uh, one thing to know about Pulse Start uh, lamps is that um, sometimes they can explode. So that's actually why there's a cover on the bottom of this. Um, of course, uh, this is actually why I bought this fixture because it has this cover. Um, there are bucket lights out there that exist with a closed bottom refractor very much like this. Um, I think GE did it. Uh, Formed Plastics also makes uh, closed bottom refractors which they use a handful of those things up here in Detroit. They're just everywhere. But usually those are for uh, standard size uh, bucket refractors. Um, this little uh, bucket light here actually just has a tiny uh, standard store uh, retail style bucket. And uh, this bucket's very commonly found on, uh, across all sorts of brands sold in stores um, for you know residential lighting. But yeah, um, this one in particular though, is a, a closed bottom one because it has the little cover. So yeah, it's really cool and that's pretty much why I have it. But other than that, this fixture is pretty basic. It's um, There's nothing really that exciting about it. But I do at least want to share it with you guys. Um, I can uh, go over it real quick. So first of all, I'll show you this. Um, to take this uh, bucket off, actually, you have to get into the inside to do it. But you can pull the little cover off here. Here is that cover. Um, this refractor is made of acrylic, and it's pretty good quality. Um, it's not like super amazing, but this is kind of bad. Um, you can see, when I put it in here, just watch, it falls. So you got a little gap, which up in the air, I mean, if you look at it from a distance, you probably won't notice, but when you're up close, um, you will notice. Um, now, the reason why uh, this version like uh, is uh, closed is because uh, pulse start lamps have a tendency to explode like boom so a uh, cover is um, necessary just so glass doesn't get all over the place but yeah um this cover though doesn't really stay on super super nice but yeah you need to take this off I'll set that down here to uh, get inside where the screws are to remove the uh, housing. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera real quick. Okay, so I took that off. So yeah, here it is. Um, you can see it's actually, uh, for it being new, it's pretty dented. Um, I got this on a discount because yeah, there's damage. Um, I guess someone bought this. Um, the packaging that this was in was kind of destroyed and I'm guessing someone just bought it and they didn't really want it. So they brought it back where they damaged it and wanted a better one. So yeah, here it is. Like I said, this is uh, acrylic. So um, I'm a little bit surprised this isn't like polycarbonate because um, this will yellow over time, unfortunately. Um, Pulse Start lamps have a very high UV output. Even if they're like 70 watts or 50 watts Pulse Start metal halide, they'll still yellow lenses because they put out a pretty good amount of light. So. Um, this is not good. This is bad, but whatever. This is uh, pretty cheap anyway. Um, you can see they cr uh, pretty much pressed it in here to the, uh, I guess, the house part of the refractor bucket thing. 
And uh, yeah, with the amount of damage you can see, this is really just pressed aluminum. It's extremely thin, and I kind of hate it. But whatever, it does the job. There is some stickering inside though, at least, that is uh, kind of interesting. Just some uh, warnings. Do not install on a pole that's not provided with integral wire supply and whatever. Um, and you got a manufactured date. Uh, I don't know what that date code is. Um, if anyone knows what that is, please uh, let me know in the comments. But not too important anyways. And that's pretty much it. Just a cheap standard bucket uh, refractor. Uh, I, I think this is a specific size though, according to manufacturers who actually make real street lights. This is kind of a standard here, but um, yeah, I don't really know anything about it. I just know that all retail style buckets uh, lights use this. So, but there are uh, bigger versions too. This one just is a small one right here. Um, to mount this uh, particular bucket, it's pretty much made the mount directly on a flat surface. So you got screws. Uh, these lag bolts came with it. So I just kind of got it mounted on a stud. And then I have that screw up there. But yeah, it's pretty much how you do that. Um, this one was uh, missing the uh, screws to hold this piece on. So I do have uh, replacements. So I put some in that work. You got a ground screw here in case you want to ground it. Um, you can connect a conduit or a Romex clip in there, but I just kind of got mine cord routed up in there, and all my uh, wires just are kind of spliced in there, and they just go up into the ballasting area. So yeah, here is the ballast. It's uh, pretty much just fixed in there. It's not bad. It's uh, it's actually a uh, HRA ballast. You can see because there's no capacitor and you wouldn't be able to put a capacitor in something as small as this thing anyway so yeah but uh the transformer seems pretty nice it doesn't seem bad at all and then you got your starter car or igniter um i'm a little surprised at the quality of this thing it's a very chintzy cheap piece of plastic and i'm actually kind of worried over time this is just gonna fail but um it's okay and you do got a sticker on here So metal halide lamp tells you actually how to wire it, so that's pretty cool. And then up there you can see the photo cell tucked away. Um, there is adjustment on this. All you gotta do is undo the little screw in the middle there and this thing will uh, pivot, which is a little bit hard to adjust since you kind of have to you know, press down on the top, but you do have a north position. And once you got it into the position you want, you just gotta screw it down. And yeah. Uh, the outer housing on this thing is very rough. This is also a very standard mold. This uh, particular uh, area light housing mold has been made, I think, for at least, I don't know, about 40 years now. Um, this is probably the cheapest one you can get. Um, it's uh, You can see just the rough cut edges pretty bad. Um, I will say overall it's okay, but yeah, it's not very nice. And then you got uh, the socket here. This one just takes a medium base socket that is rated for pulse lamps. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. There's not really anything else going on with uh, this thing, this area light housing. Of course, uh, brand new, it comes with accessories too. I have a tungsten photo cell, which means it's gonna have a time delay. Just an average, uh, uh, area light small residential style photo cell. It's made by a uh, Long John. Um, I think they just they don't really make a lot of street light stuff. They just make a lot of basic uh, home and landscaping style things. So yeah, just a basic photo cell. It's a little cheap too. Um, these actually have a very high tendency of yellowing over time, and with the metal halide bulb in the sunlight, um, I'm sure it'll yellow very quick. Um, I'll talk about that in a sec. But here is the lamp it comes with. Now this is actually my favorite part. So I do want to get this out. Got to do this on camera. Oh, there we go. Just pour it right out. Now I wish uh, this company actually made just more bigger, higher uh, wattage lamps, but unfortunately they only made lamps I think for this thing. But this is a 100 watt lamp that comes with it when you first buy it. It is made by, if it'll focus, no, it never wants to focus. Oh my gosh, there we go. Polar lights. 
kind of, yeah, it kind of focused there. And you can see it's metal halide, 100 watt. And then it has the bulb type. Of course, you want to put a pulse start lamp in here. So you want an M90, which actually I'm noticing it's a M it's M90 slash E, but it's a uh, faded <laughs> a little bit already. So that's kind of crazy. Um, I have ran this a couple times, but not very much. It's uh, pretty new still. But yeah, I like that it's called Polar Lights because that's actually a uh, Polar is my uh, dragon character slash Sona. And he is pretty much now the mascot of my YouTube channel. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Um, go check me out on DeviantArt. I do a uh, draw. I'll put the link to that below if you guys are interested. But I'm sure you're not. You probably want to see this running. So, real quick, if you're wondering uh, how I got this hooked up, um, I got a little extension cord, just an old fashioned cord kind of running up here. That goes into this uh, outlet right here. My camera is actually plugged into the receptacle right now. But I have a receptacle there for charging because this is my art desk. And then I have a switch. So then uh, that turns on the light. And then this uh, wire, which is just a vacuum cord that's been cleaned up and completely re-taped, uh, re as you can see, uh, goes up and powers my lights. So you go ahead and flip that on. Of course, it's going to kick on. but. I want the photo cell to go off, so let me uh, make sure that goes off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut some lights off, and um, we will like watch this warm up. Of course, there is a two-minute time delay, so minutes here to tell us to get warm and turn on. Yeah. 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 I love my curtains. I dropped my ghostwriter off the back school right around the corner before I go to the clock. My lesson house came off. My son's in college. Wait. We're all just trying to make a living. There's a lot of other ways to do that. Alright, take two. There we go. That. Now you guys probably cannot hear this light. It is extremely quiet. I'm gonna hop over here, and there doesn't. Uh, we don't need to do a speed up warm up sequence because this thing warms up extremely fast. I'm sorry, I'm gonna run the camera again. This thing warms up in seconds, as you will see here. Yes, look how bright it's getting. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Claire, Dennis, Tyler. <laughs> I made my uh, Westinghouse turn off. Just hope it's not bright enough to kick its own photo cell off. Yeah, there we go. It's a full brightness. So there is that. You can see it pretty much lights up my desk. It's like the best desk light in the world. So yeah. Shut that off. That's what that humming was. The uh, old photo cell on that makes a lot of noise. But yeah, plenty of light. I will say it is actually beautiful to look at, sorta. It really hurts your eyes, but it does the job. It's bright, it's a nice clean white light, and I guess it looks pretty good. So yeah. Um yeah, to, I, like I said, I'm not a fan of these, but um, because these bucket types of bucket lights are very cheap. Oh, look, you can see a light seeping in through the top there. How nice! Like I said, I'm not a big fan of these uh, types of bucket lights, but I do find uh, this version unique because it has the closed bottom refractor piece on my list. Kind of a shame though when I found out how cheap it was. Yeah, there's a lamp. Yeah, um, I'm trying to get one of these just for the uh, closed bottom concept. Um, don't get your hopes up. They're not as nice as you think. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. All right. Before I go, I do want to talk about one little thing. 
Uh, here is a uh, Philips uh, Hue lamp. It's a lamp you can hook up to your Wi-Fi. And it can change colors, uh, play to music, uh, connect to your video games, and do all sorts of cool things. Um, it's not the same color changing bulb that I have in that fixture. Uh, that fixture has the Crayola lamp. So if you guys want to check out that video, uh, you can, but yeah, I got uh, Philips Hue here so I can set it to about a million colors. So um, now I'm done uh, showing you guys uh, how this fixture works. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back in it because I've had this lamp in it now. So that uh, this lamp can be a little bit more cool, or excuse me, this uh, luminaire can be a little bit more cool and have some uh, color changing functionality. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I thank you guys for watching this uh, short video on this bucket light. Um, I know a lot of you guys, uh, a lot of collectors have these lights and probably think they're the best things ever. Um, I know a few people who do um, pre appreciate these types of fixtures. Um, I don't care for these types of fixtures too much. I think they're very cheap, but um, unless there's something that is somewhat unique on, like the closed bottom thing, um, I guess it's worth it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this cool fixture. Uh, somewhat cool fixture, and yeah, happy collecting everyone. Goodbye.